We live in a rapidly changing world. Every day brings us challenges, unexpected events, new technology and more complex problems. The solutions will come increasingly from creative, adventurous individuals and teams inspired by international attitudes and experience. The United World Colleges have been educating committed and energetic young people since the 1960s. The opportunity to live, study and collaborate with other young people from widely different backgrounds has been a deeply formative experience for all graduates of the United World Colleges. Founders of the United World Colleges were determined that their children should not relive their own experiences of World War II. Pioneering educationalist Kurt Hahn and his associates resolved to bring together young people from the nations which had so recently been in conflict. They chose a critical age, 16 to 19, for their unique experiment in international education. The aim was to create a setting where students from all nations could learn from and understand each other. The first college, Atlantic College, opened in 1962 with 58 eager young students from 14 countries. The early years of hard work and financial strain were rewarded. Today, there are 10 United World Colleges across the world, joined each year by 1,000 scholarship students from 140 countries. The vision and energy of world leaders has been essential. Lord Louis Mountbatten of Burma became the first international president of the United World Colleges and established the International Council. He was followed by His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. Both had a profound impact on the growth of the organization. Today the presidency is held jointly by Her Majesty Queen Noor of Jordan and the President of South Africa, Nelson Mandela. What is beautiful about the United World Colleges is that it's bringing young minds and spirits together to break down barriers and to forge relationships that can have an enormous impact on the stability and, and God willing, peaceful relations between communities in the future. It is because of the commitment and dedication of these and many other individuals that United World Colleges now has a network of ten colleges situated around the world in different cultural settings, but all sharing the same mission. Based at St. Donat's Castle in Wales, Atlantic College was the first to open. In Italy, Adriatic College is part of a bicultural Italian-Slovene village. Situated on the shores of a field in Norway, Nordic College maintains a close partnership with the Norwegian Red Cross, Red Crescent. In New Mexico is the Arm and Hammer College of the American West. This college bridges local Hispanic and Native American cultures with its international student body. In Vancouver, Canada, the Lester B. Pearson College of the Pacific Northwest was founded as a memorial to Canada's late Prime Minister. In Swaziland, the Waterford Cum Laba College was born out of a secondary school set up as a direct challenge to the former apartheid regime in neighboring South Africa. Situated in the cosmopolitan city of Singapore is the United World College of Southeast Asia. And outside the bustling city of Hong Kong lies the Li Po Chung College. The Mahindra United World College of India is based in a village in Maharashtra and is our newest college. And in Venezuela, the Simon Bolivar United World College of Agriculture provides a program in farm management and sustainable rural development. Each college is in itself a microcosm of the world. 
All ten colleges are coordinated and supported by the United World Colleges International Board through the International Office in London. Selection of students is made by national committees. Students are selected competitively on merit by volunteer committees based in countries all over the world. The selection criteria include personal achievement, strength of character, interest in global issues and community involvement. College places are offered irrespective of race, religion or ability to pay. The United World Colleges make particular efforts to embrace students from developing countries and parts of the world going through major change. Through the 1980s, we placed a very special emphasis on recruiting students from Yugoslavia, Poland, later Hungary, Bulgaria, and by the time the Berlin Wall fell, we had students from every single country of Central and Eastern Europe. But the purpose is twofold when the students come to a United World College. One is to educate the individual student and see them grow and develop. But secondly is to take their background, their experience, their culture and share it with all the other 99 students in their year. And the refugees have a perspective that is incredibly valuable and is a great strength and a broadening experience for the other students. The provision of scholarships and bursaries for successful applicants is fundamental, but the challenge of ensuring the necessary funds is vast and never-ending. The United World College experience has many facets. The international mix of students and teachers, the academic challenge and the community service responsibilities together shape the students' understanding of themselves and of the world today. These experiences help them form a vision of their future contribution to society. I've, I've learned how to relate to people as human beings rather than as a product of where they come from. It's, I mean, it's very difficult in Pearson College and I think in other United World Colleges for, for people like us who come, you know, from uh, parts of the world that are not just different from each other but are in conflict. It's very difficult to live with each other for two years and still have that red light at the back of your head warning you about the other person. They are the projectors of the UWC ethic and I look upon them as candles. They are people who light dark places in the world and the world is too full of nations who do not understand their interdependence and men and women who do not understand their common humanity. Each year, 1,000 new students join our colleges and the two-year program leading to the International Baccalaureate. This diploma, much influenced by the United World Colleges, has set international standards in its methods and content and is recognized worldwide by leading universities. Students are taught to question assumptions and analyze data in order to base opinions on rational thinking, not prejudice or dogma. Environmental problems and human rights issues are investigated in depth. Students teach each other their own cultural traditions through music, theater, and art. And physical challenges are set that are designed to build strength and determination while encouraging trust and teamwork. A special feature of the United World Colleges is the commitment to community service. We have learned that students who take personal responsibility for the disadvantaged actively accept that they have a part to play in resolving society's problems. The students' projects range from work with physically challenged people or refugees to mountain rescue and community service at sea. Projects vary in response to community needs and the physical setting of each college. Today, societies need to identify and develop responsible citizens who can communicate internationally. Businesses need people with the skills to adapt products and services for diverse cultures and who can anticipate changes in this increasingly interdependent world. The United World Colleges have a proven track record of educating leaders. Graduates go on to attend the top universities in the world and become activists in a wide variety of fields 
whether it be industry, finance, public service, science or education. In order to maintain high academic levels and to continue the diverse representation of nationalities in the United World Colleges, we are continually seeking new partners to invest in this unique approach to education. Our aim is to offer motivated young people a broad and challenging educational opportunity that will shape their vision of the world and their own role in it. We already have over 18,000 graduates worldwide who offer proof that the experiment is working. This will continue to be possible only through the generosity of many individuals, foundations and corporations who share our goals and our vision. Will you join us?